Welcome to Book Root Readings, your channel for classic, nature, and living children's books. Click the subscribe button to be notified of new readings. Enjoy the story! In 1492 by Jean Marzolo Illustrated by Steve Bjorkman For Shay Andrew Fumagalli with Love, Jean Marzolo for mom and dad who tolerated India ink on the carpet as I explored a new world. Steve Bjorkman Background Facts About Christopher Columbus Christopher Columbus was born in 1451 in Genoa, an important seaport and independent Italian republic. He went to sea when he was 19 or 20. In 1477, he and his brother, Bartholomew, were in Lisbon, Portugal. At that time, the Portuguese were trying to reach the Orient by sailing around Africa. Columbus thought he could find a shorter way by sailing due west. He asked the king of Portugal to give him three ships and pay for his experimental journey. The king said no. In 1485, Columbus went to Spain. In 1486, he asked the Spanish king and queen to help him. Queen Isabella finally agreed to give Columbus ships, honors, titles, and a percentage of the trade he might find. And so, on August 3, 1492, Columbus sailed from Palo, Spain to search for a quicker route to the Indies, the name then used for India, China, the East Indies, and Japan. He had three ships in his fleet, the Santa Maria, the Nina, and the Pinta. On October 7, his tired men thought they saw land. When they realized they hadn't, they wanted to go home. On October 10, they agreed to go on for three more days. On October 12, Columbus landed in the Bahamas on an island he named San Salvador. He thought he reached the Indies, so he called the natives Indians. But what he actually had found was a land he had never heard of before. Columbus died in 1506. In 1492, Columbus sailed the ocean blue. He had three ships and left from Spain. He sailed through sunshine, wind, and rain. He sailed by night. He sailed by day. He used the stars to find his way. A compass also helped him know how to find the way to go. Ninety sailors were on board. Some men worked while others snored. Then the workers went to sleep, and others watched the ocean deep. Day after day they looked for land. They dreamed of trees and rocks and sand. October 12th, their dream came true. You never saw a happier crew. Indians! Indians! Columbus cried. His heart was filled with joyful pride. But India, the land was not. It was the Bahamas, and it was hot. The Arawak natives were very nice. They gave the sailors food and spice. Columbus sailed on to find some gold to bring back home, as he'd been told. He made the trip again and again, trading for gold to bring to Spain. The first American? No, not quite. But Columbus was brave, and he was bright. We cheer for him and say hooray, especially on Columbus Day.